My name is Mary Wanza Malandi. I'm one of the distributors in Korokoto. And there are sometimes when I, I go for outreaches in hospitals or in a specific place where the facility may have chosen, especially in, the, in our catchment area. It, it involves a lot of things because first, you have to be friendly to the clients who are, you are attending to. You have to respect them. Uh, you have to, when talking to them, we do get a lot of information from them because especially we want to give these clients the, we want to give them the right service they require. We don't want them to complain about the services we are giving them um, or we are offering. So we are ready with everything and we are there to provide and uh, to give the service which is required. So sometimes when we are doing our registration, it helps us a lot to know whether the client is a resident or is a non-resident. So after registration, it's where now we go for home visits. In our home visits, we are just there to identify where the, whether the client stays in the, that house. There are many questions which may end up, may come up when we are visiting the clients because we want to give the, the voucher to the right person. So those are the, some things which are involve our duties. Oh, there are times when uh, a client may come for registration, but she does not reside in Korokocho. Those are some of the challenges we meet while do, doing our, our work as distributors. In those cases, we'll still register the client and we won't disqualify her because we, are, we may think that she's not a resident. We still have to pay a visit. Then from the visit, it's whether we know whether she was the client or she was brought there by the relatives or something like that. Most of the mothers are single. Oh, though they, some claim to have been married, but they, by the time they came to our registration center, they are alone. They, they, come, they do claim that after their partners knew that they are pregnant, they just left them. So we get uh, a lot of young mothers who are single, staying alone or staying with the relatives. Uh, one of the biggest challenge is security. Uh, if it means we won't give the the uh, the client the voucher because the relatives are around and they may threaten us. Mm. But in most cases, we find that even though the areas are very very bad, these mothers are security for us. Uh, our clients are security. Uh, sometimes they even talk to the the these bad boys who are around and tell them don't hurt them in any way because they are here to help us. So without these mothers, it's hard for us to, to go. Even though majority has already known us, but there are fears that they may attack us. But in most cases when we are going for these home visits, we don't go carrying our bags. We do leave them somewhere because with the bag, they will be attracted. This bag may be having a cell phone, may be having money, may be having... So we just go without our bags. We only carry our books for registration. So it, in such cases, uh, that reduces the chances of being attacked by someone who may be having bad motive on us. The most popular one is, is implants. Uh, they go for the, the implants. Even though there are clients who are coming for short-term methods, but we do, I do explain to them the importance of long-term methods. And because these services are being offered free in the facility, and some don't have money, they decide to take uh, the long-term methods because the facility will pay for them.